Okay, so today we're doing something very different. We're going to Long Island City. There are a couple of mopeds there that we're gonna buy. I haven't seen these bikes ahead of time. I don't know what sort of condition they're in, but we're going to buy them and we're going to fix them there at the location and then hopefully ride them back here to the shop. I haven't really done this before, but I thought that to show you guys what you should or shouldn't do when you buy a moped out in the world secondhand, most of the time they're not gonna run. Basically, I wanna show you what you should do when you, when you buy a bike like this. This should be super educational and slightly exciting. First thing I need to do is bring some tools, like a travel pack. There's certain things I must bring. I gotta bring a spark plug tool, gotta bring a flathead screwdriver, a couple of metric sockets. I actually have a nice tool bag somewhere. I don't know where it is, so I guess the first step is to find it. screwdriver, spark plug, socket. Hey, let's get some moped! All right, ready to go. Let's do it. You got your, your game face on? Oh yeah. Talk serious business? Oh yeah. We're not gonna let this guy haggle us down? No! Nothing. Nothing. Not a dime. Get these mopeds for cheap. So the plan is over there and be prepared to ride them back. Right. Oh, do we need helmets? No, these are class C. Helmet's optional. Helmet's optional. Optional. Okay, we're going helmetless. This was a Scott call. He We're says good. he says no helmets. No helmets. We'll go under twenty. All right. Well, we got everything except for one item. What happened in our Uber now? Right. Oh man. I mean, I guess bringing like uh, tires or like patch kits. That's like too much. Let's just assume that there's or hope there's no flat. How'd you find out about this guy? He emailed me. They came to you. He just gone. wants someone to come scoop him up. And that's what we're going. We're going to scoop oh, up. It's a his. It's a his and her moped. One's blue, one's pink. Is he a former customer? I don't remember him. Nor oh. do I remember the bikes. But I have a bad memory when it comes to faces and names and mopeds. This is how you got your uh, your old uh, orange back. Yes. Got contact with you. Contact with me. Which is also for sale. To see a list of mopeds for sale from Second Strike Mopeds, click on the description below. Got yourself a moped today. We're gonna try to keep an active list of what is for sale on our website, so go check it out. Building here. This is my buddy Scott. What's up, buddy? Oh, hey, we're uh, right. we're uh, here to buy the bike. Check them out at least. Six years ago, with an ex girlfriend. It's kind of like the last of the remnants. Let's see. Okay, uh, I see more. Here they go. They have been covered for the most part. A huge glass carb and. Uh oh. Stuff. I want them free. The other one might be stuck, which means we could be screwed up. <laughs> but let's let's ask a couple more questions and then we can make our decision. This one turns over. Yeah. This one's locked up. It's been sitting too long. And you get them out of here today? Yeah, we'll take them right now. Do you mind if we try to work on them here? Yeah, you can you can work out here, guys. Might have bit off a little more than we could chew. But I'll explain a little bit of what is happening, what I'm afraid of, and how my worst fears have come to light. The throttle cable is broken. The tires hold air. So, worst case scenario, we just pedal it home. 
First thing we're gonna do is check for spark. I removed the spark plug. It's really bad. So a new spark plug. And that luckily I brought one. Actually has spark plug. Okay. Since we have spark, we will move on to the carburetor, the gas flow. can't see through it, which means it is clogged. The car cleaner alone won't spray through this gunk in the hole, this tiny, tiny jet hole. Then you need something, uh, something pointy like a pin or, or the end of a, of a brake cable, a throttle cable. Now you can see that, that light. Next I got the float bowl. It's better now. So, can't have a sticky float board. We were able to rebuild the carburetor with a good cable on it. When we put this back on, we might be able to get this thing to fire up briefly because I don't have gas. If a moped has compression, has spark and has fuel flow and airflow, it's gonna work. It's gonna at least fire. It's alive! It's alive! We're going home, baby! Now we just need gas. We'll relocate the gas station, we put gas in this blue bike, the blue bike tows the pink bike, or if we have enough time to get the pink bike working too. Bike works kinda, pink bike doesn't work at all, but we're gonna use this strapping device to try to tow us home. We're not that far. Pouring gas. Pickaxe no good. We knew this. We we're doing it anyway. No choice. We're almost there. Let's go. Last turn. Woo! We got back faster than the Uber took us. We got back way faster than the Uber. There it is. We made it back. So I guess the question is, would it have been faster to walk? We got back faster than the Uber to uh, get us there. Okay, win-win, huh? Win-win. We were we were cruising down hills. 18 miles an hour? Almost cruising 25. <laughs> Ain't those beautiful? 45. Of course. 
Look at that smoke. Look at that speed, speed smoke. Mopeds. Oh yeah. Come on, look at the little, look at the little paw prints. Yeah, little, little paw prints. Paw Someone got their feet in the litter box. Yo, can I trade you my frame for this one? And we'll I won't ride this one. I'll swap everything. I just want the frame. I really love this bike. We could talk about it. I, I like that. I love, to, on, I love to see you sport a pink moped. All I've ever wanted was a pink bike. Kitty cat, cat thing. Cat. I, I need this one. Okay. I need that. It couldn't be more perfect. It could not. It could not be more perfect. So we made it back. We purchased bikes. We talked the guy down a little bit because yep. we, these were <laughs> these were not. They were way worse than than I thought. They're pretty bad. I thought this was actually going to be a lot easier. I thought we were going to ride both back, no problem. But we got one back no problem towing the other one which actually is pretty good we learned that you can buy bikes sight unseen if you got the skills hopefully you followed along don't forget to subscribe like and subscribe like the video until next till time. next adventure we'll see you then boom